We see new technological advances every day, and the beef community is seeing the impact. So we look at the history of genetic evaluation going all the way back before we had genetic evaluation and those technologies and the evolution of that and the advent of DNA technologies that are complementing that. And then how do we push that and make genetic gain and accelerate that and using technologies like IVF with coupled with traditional embryo transfer and that to change generation interval and make and with younger and younger animals and accelerate that. The dairy industry has led the way, encouraging the beef side to follow suit to get the best genetics into the hands of commercial producers. We're starting to see that evolution begin to happen in beef and the beef industry as these technologies are combined and come together, focus on quality of products, animal longevity, all these traits and the specifics that are going to be needed for commercial producers to continue to have success and make genetic gains and focus in on target markets is going to take bringing all these technologies together at all levels of the of the uh, beef pyramid as I call it all the way from the nucleus genetics all the way down to the the food we produce for our consumers. Improvements begin with knowing the baseline genetic merit of a herd then using tools for targeted improvement. And, and even from a simplistic sense of just making understanding their population and what their goals are and setting breeding goals and then when they purchase animals setting goals of where those genetic merit values need to be, what is the end point, what are they trying to do. And I think it's going to become critical for all of us to continue to be successful in these areas and in the industry in, in using those. It might not be using all the tools, but it's going to be using parts of it and pieces of it to make, to make those genetic advancements happen. It's not going to be a one-size-fits-all plan, but the geneticist says there is an avenue to improvement for everyone. It's going to have to even be much greater. And it's going to take the use of all the, a lot of different technologies and finding that mix and match of what works in an environment and for you to make, to continue to be profitable and be able to, for generations to come to utilize these. I'm Bob Cervera.